Okay, in our previous lesson, uh, we learned how to create a table, a simple table. Uh, remember, we use uh, table tag, uh, we use caption, we use uh, tr tag, td tag, th tag. Okay, so now uh, for this lesson, we are going to learn how to combine or how to merge cells in a table. So the exa example given here, this is the table that we are going to duplicate. Okay, so basically, uh, we have a table which has four rows and three columns. Okay, the last, the last row has been merged and the center column is also merged. So how to have this kind of effect in our table? It's very simple. So just follow me closely. So in order to create the table, we need the table tag. So I'm going to put straight away the border and I'm going to set the width. I'm going to put it as 300 pixels which is enough and immediately I'm going to close it sorry table uh, the table tag okay so now look back at our table okay I need to create four rows and each row will have three columns so TR always TR first and inside I'll have three TDs Okay, so TD, TD, and TD, TD. Alright, done. Okay, so I'm going to put um, a dummy data. I'm just going to put TD on here. Alright, so here I have created the first row. The first row has three columns. So what I do, I'm just going to copy this second row, third row, fourth row. Save this and let's look at the output. Okay, this is what I'll have. Okay, so now the first thing that we do is I'm going to merge this one. Okay, so which is this column, this column and this column. Alright, so basically it is the center column of the first row, center column of the second row, center column of the third row, which is this, this, and this. Okay, so we have three cells affected. Go to the first one, which is this. Alright, so now we are going to combine rows. So the keyword here is row span. How many rows are we going to combine? Three. All right. Once we have combined, the other two will not exist anymore because we have combined. So we have to remove it. All right. So remove it. Save and look at the output. Done. Now. Let's go to the last row over here. Okay. The first column, second column, third column of this particular row, I'm going to combine. So it only affects one row, which is the last one. Where is the last row? Is this. What are the columns affected? These three. Always go to the first one. And now, because you are combining columns, you use call span. How many columns are you combining? Three. Once you have combined, the second and the third column doesn't exist. Remove it. Save. And refresh. This is what you get. Once you get this particular pattern, then you can put in the data inside, which is one this is the merged one this is nine this will be two and ten so 
sorry. Two and ten. And then here I have three. I have eleven. And the last one is merged. Save and I refresh. This is what I'll get. Don't worry about the width. You can adjust it later. Okay. So this is how you actually merge or you combine cells within a table. So if you are combining columns, you use call span. If you are combining rows, you use row span.